Hey guys, before the video starts, I just want to say I have my own Discord server now. So if you're interested in being a part of the community, or if you just need help with your plugins, Discord is the best way to get in contact with me. Enough of that, let's get into the video. Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how you can make your own auto message plugin. So I have already set up my config.yml. Now this config contains three things. My messages, a boolean to determine whether or not you want the messages to be random, in the interval at which the messages will be sent in seconds. So now let's get into the actual logic. For this we're going to be making a bucket runnable. So we're going to go ahead and make it in a new class because I think that's the best way to structure it and the most easy way to understand, especially for beginners. And we can name this class message timer. And this class is going to extend bucket runnable. And then we're going to go ahead and implement any unimplemented methods, which is just this one name run. And I'm going to go ahead and before we get into that, I'm going to make a constructor for our class so I can pass in a few things. I'm going to pass in the instance of our plugin so that I can get a few things from the configuration file. I'm going to go ahead and make a couple variables here to hold these things. The first is going to be a list of our messages. The second is going to be the boolean whether or not we want it to be random. And the third is going to be the index of the previous message that we sent, so that if we send the message randomly, we don't send the same message twice in a row. Now that we have those all set up, we can go ahead and set those values. So now inside of this method name run, I'm going to go ahead and create a variable for our message. I'm just going to set this to a null string for right now. First thing we want to do is check to see if we want to send a random message or not. So we're going to check if random. And we're going to check first to see if random is turned off. And we're going to set the current message to messages.get. And then we're going to put last message plus one. So this will send the next message in our message list. But there is one problem. If we are at the last message and we try to add one to that, we will get an out of bounds error. So in order to bypass this, we can go ahead and surround this by a try catch statement. And the exception we're catching is the array index out of bound exception. And if this is the case, then we want to set message to the first message in our list. And then after both of these, we want to change last message. And there we go. Now let's get on to if we want to send the message randomly. For this, we're going to be using an instance of the random class provided by Java. And what this allows us to do is to get a random integer between two values. So I'm going to make a variable here called next message. And we're going to use the method next int. Now the integer that you put in here is the number that it will go up to. So it will pick a number between zero and this number. It will include zero, but it will exclude whatever we put in here. So we can just put messages dot size. And because the first message is zero, it works out perfectly. Now, as I said earlier, we don't want the same message to get sent twice in a row. So what we could do is check to see if next message is equal to the last message because they're both integers that represent the index of the message. That won't really help because if it gets the same message twice in a row, it'll send the second message. So we'd have to write like 20 if statements to make sure that this same message doesn't get sent twice in a row. But then that also doesn't guarantee that the message won't get sent twice in a row. So we can go ahead and make a while loop for this. So we're going to check while next message is equal to last message. We're going to get a new number within our message. Now please note, if you only have one message in your messages list, this is going to crash your server. 
but I know for a fact that this is not going to happen because we have multiple messages in our list. So if you're making a public plugin, make sure to include some sort of check. I made a little mistake. Make sure you're actually setting a next message inside of your while loop or it will crash your server. And after that, we can go ahead and set our message variable to the next message. And then we can go ahead and update our last message variable. And there we go. We have the message that we want to send to the players. Now let's send it to all the players. You could use bucket.broadcast message, but then that will log the message to the console. And we don't want that because the console doesn't need to be getting these messages. So we're going to go ahead and loop through all the online players. And then we can go ahead and just send every player the same message. And if you want to include colors, make sure you translate those color codes. And that is this class all done. Now all we need to do is run the timer. So if we go back to our on enable here, we can go ahead and create a new instance of that message timer we just made. And we want to go ahead and pass in our plugin which is this class and then we want to use the method run task timer pass in our plugin instance pass in the delay I don't want there to be delay and then also pass in the interval so now we need to make a variable for our interval and we can just get this from the config Then I'm going to multiply this by 20 because I want it to be in seconds and there are 20 ticks every second. And I can go ahead and input the interval right here. And that's all guys, I'll go ahead and show you what this looks like. And as you can see, we are getting all of the messages that we sent in a random order. You can apply more advanced logic if you don't want messages to be sent every other message. If you want there to be a bigger gap between messages, you can really expand on this and do whatever you want. I'm just here to show you guys the basics. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like or if I helped you out, make sure to do that as well. And that is all for now. I'll see you guys next time. Nice! The mutt's nuts, in fact.